Well, hello there, friend, and welcome to another Technical Tuesday here at the Chef Lance Show. And today we are going to cook basic fonio. I know I pronounced it fonio before, but I believe I've been corrected. Fonio, fonio. It's a uh, ancient grain, been cultivated for over five thousand years in Africa. It's primarily grown now in West Africa. It's a great substitute for rice, quinoa, uh, couscous, which is not a grain, but Still, it uh, has that uh, same uh, texture to it. Uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, I, I did a, a, a recipe with it earlier that was a kind of a breakfast dish called Creamy Fonio. And I'll, I'll put a link either in the description or wherever we put those. Uh, but uh, today I'm just going to show you how to do a basic Fonio uh, because I'm prepping for a side dish. And so all I need is the basic uh, Fonio cooked and then we're gonna add it to some other ingredients later, but this is the basic Fonio recipe. So like rice, it is a two to one ratio, two cups, uh, in this case of liquid, one cup of rice. I've got some oil here I'm gonna put in the pan. I just turned it to warm it up. A couple tablespoons. Now, isn't this a little Dutch oven? Look at that. Normally what I've done in the past is use this as a serving dish but it's about the right size for this amount of fonio, so why not use it, right? And because it, uh, it's cast iron, it works perfectly on the induction cooktop. So what have we got here? We got some salt. I'm gonna add a generous amount of salt. I'm not gonna worry about the salt level too much in here because in the other dish, it'll be seasoned there. So I've got that out of the way. Now I'm gonna add the, uh, the liquid. Two cups. Of, now that's a chicken stock, unsalted chicken stock that uh, that I made uh, another time. I'll do a video on how to do a stock, uh, a basic chicken stock, and uh, you'll have that in your repertoire too. Now there's the two cups fonio. Now I'm looking at this little cute little Dutch oven, right? I'm wondering, uh, am I going to have room to do all that? Well, we'll see, won't we? So I'm just going to stir this together. I don't want any fonio uh, clumping up. Uh, so I'll just get that stirred while it's coming to a heat. So the basic is this. One part fonio, two parts liquid. You could use water if you wanted to, but really why? Water has no flavor. Chicken stock uh, has flavor. If you wanted to go vegan, uh, you can certainly do a vegetable stock. I tried making that, but I couldn't find any bone, bones in the vegetables. So... Uh, but you can go vegan with this very easily. Uh, Fonio is naturally gluten-free. Uh, it's also perfect for those who suffer from uh, the uh, celiac, I think it's pronounced, celiac disease. So uh, very basic. Uh, we got this stirred together. It's already starting to bubble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to a boil, uh, and then I'm going to immediately reduce it to a simmer, let it simmer one minute, turn the fire off, put the lid on, and come back in four or five minutes. I mean, how hard is that, right? This is so, so simple. So it's coming to a boil, but I do want to see a little bit more of a boil before I turn it down. Uh, so this is, uh, listen guys, this thing is nutritious. It's full of protein, B vitamins, uh, other uh, trace minerals and elements. And here's the cool thing about it. It is drought resistant, which means it takes very little water to grow. And so in parts of the world where that's an issue, this is a perfect way to get nutrition into the diet. Uh, so it really is, I think, going to be a game changer uh, globally. And I think it, it is in, uh, going to be here in the United States and in other Western countries as well. Okay, so we're now at a boil. Kind of a getting wanting to boil boil if that makes sense i'm going to turn that down to a simmer real quick and then you guys set a timer for 60 seconds and let me know but i'm not going to make you wait on that i'm going to uh, get it to 60 seconds uh simmer for 60 seconds and then i'm actually going to put the lid on and when i come back i'm going to fluff it up and i'll let you take a close look at that and uh then we're going to give it a taste and see how well we did so I will see you around the corner, okay? All right, hello, friend. Welcome back. We have a uh, pot. The timer just went off, so 
I'm gonna take the lid off and let's take a look at what we're what we're seeing here. Ooh, look at that. You know, it kind of immediately uh, reminds me of like uh, sand at a beach, or you know how it uh, just kind of does its own thing. The wind moves it, whatever. It's kind of interesting how that has done. Let's see if we can flip this up a little bit, make it a little prettier. Oh yeah, it's fluffing very nicely. Look at that. Beautiful. Bad gum. This pot was just the right size. Yeah, steam coming off of there. Wow. All right. So now let's, uh, while I'm here, let's just do a little taste. Mmm. Mmm. You know, I, it's seasoned just about right. Uh, it really takes on whatever characteristics you put with it. And I can taste a little bit of the chicken broth in there, which is the reason why water has no flavor. So I like using chicken broth for things like this and rice, other grains. Adds another depth of flavor. Guys, this is super simple, super easy, and super quick. <laughs> this is easier to do than rice. Easier to do than rice. I promise you that, and much faster. So check out some Fonio. Um, I, th I think I'll put a link in the uh, description to where you can get it. Um, I think I heard a friend of mine say Whole Foods carries it, uh, but I got the one I'm using off of the Jungle River store, so I'll put a link down there for that. Hey guys, uh, by the way, oh, here's my happy dance. That is really good. Thanks for joining me on this technical Tuesday on how to cook Fonio. And uh, remember this, a day in the kitchen beats a day of working any day. And we'll see you next time on Technical Tuesday.